After people, your soil is the most important asset in your grazing business. And just like any other asset in your grazing business, you need to keep your soil in good condition. You need to keep it in working order. And the term we use for have a soil in good condition is a healthy soil. So you need to keep good soil health in your grazing landscapes. A healthy soil has real positive impacts for your grazing business. The first thing is that it captures and stores water from rainfall really effectively. The second thing it does is it cycles the nutrients in that topsoil really efficiently for plant growth. And finally, it really reduces the risk of erosion and sediment runoff from your landscape. Healthy soils also have really positive impacts for the wider catchment and environment. So having good soil health is a win-win for everyone. If you're managing grazing landscapes, then you're probably managing a number of different soil types. But whatever soil types you have, they all need to be kept in good condition. And the grazing rash manual is a simple practical approach to help you manage soil health across your different soil types. The grazing rash approach can help you manage your soil health through three key steps. Firstly, it can help you measure key aspects of your soil health. The second thing it helps you do is score those results against benchmarks. And finally, if you identify soil issues, it can help you think through ways to solve those problems. The grazing rash approach has five key indicators that help you to monitor your soil in your paddock on your place. These are ground cover condition, water infiltration, soil structure, soil organisms and soil pH. The grazing rash system has four components to it. There's a grazing rash manual which guides you through how to do assessing and managing your soil health. Then there's a list for all the equipment that you're going to need. And that equipment's practical and easy to put together yourself. Then there's a series of videos that'll help you to follow how to do the instructions. And finally, there's a bullseye scorecard, which helps you visually assess your soil and determine whether you've got soil issues or not. To manage soil health on your property, one of the best ways to do that is to have a monitoring point set up where you can come back periodically to assess key aspects of your soil and land condition. Setting up a monitoring point just involves having two stakes set apart by about 25 metres and it's at that point that you can use for assessing your soil health each year. The best time to assess your soil health from year to year is actually at the end of the wet season when you've still got good field moisture in your soil. It's much easier to assess soil and the different aspects of soil health when you have field moisture around in the landscape. In this series of videos that we're about to present, we're going to show you some simple tools you can use to assess some of the key aspects of your soil's health on your grazing property. If you're serious about your grazing business and you want to contribute to the wider catchment health, then the RASH manual is a key tool in helping you achieve this. If you'd like to learn more about how to manage soil health in your grazing landscapes, then watch the other videos in this series or get in touch with your grazing extension officer.